So we got a brand new event today, and I'm gonna be straight up bananas. I am very, very underwhelmed with what they released. So we're gonna go over the cards, we're gonna go over stats, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. But let's take a look at the new event, Battle of the Stars, part one of two. It ends January 4th, so you only got about a week to do it, so that gives me at least a little bit of hope that the second part's gonna be better, but you can use any All-Star series player, signature series player, Finest series, or if you're feeling really ballsy, common players, max team 99 overall, three in the game on All Star. So it's very similar to what we've been getting for the events. But now, taking a look at the awards, when we got the like, saw this coming out and everything, there were a lot of cards that kind of went through my mind. Maybe we'll get a finest Byron Buxton, a finest Cedric Mullins, you know, like a really OP as hell finest card, or we could get some of the legends that still need 99s. Andrew Jones, or we still don't have a freaking Kirby Puckett. He has to be the 11th inning program, otherwise I don't know what the hell his issue is. But taking a look, you got Space Jam 1 pack at three wins. You get some Braves uniforms in Indians uniforms, Space Jam 2, Space Jam 3, so all the Space Jam stuff. And then at 18 wins, you get the first legend, which is 99 overall Fred McGriff. Stats, pretty solid versus righties. Lefties, it's not that great at this point in the game. The only thing I don't like is the first baseman no secondary position. You got Albert Pujols as an inning reward that a lot of people already have. You have Frank Thomas, completely free card. Babe Ruth, a lot of people have him and put him at first base. This card probably doesn't even crack the top five first basemen. Nobody's going to use him as his bench. So kind of pointless card. He's mainly going to be used for collections and stubs at this point. Get a rewind uniform. And then 24 wins, you get 99 Kenny Lofton, which just if this was a couple years ago, God tier card, if you remember, what was it, MLB 19, 20, where he, all of a sudden he was just a slap nuts hitter. He freaking slaps a single into left field, he steals second, steals third, you hit a sack fly, he scores. He was God tier, but with the power being only 70 and 57, he just ain't gonna get a job done in this year's game, but he does have really good contact, maxed out first right, he's still 114 versus lefties, good vision, 103, so that PCI is gonna be fucking huge. 93 fielding, 75 arm. This dude's got a fucking noodle arm out there, but he's got 98 speed, 99 steel, 99 base front aggressive, so he's stupid fast. So overall, whatever, once again, this is just another card that's gonna go towards like collections, stubs, shit like that. He's just really not that good. Same with this Fred McGriff, man. Like I said, I wanted a Cedric Mullins finest, Byron Buxton finest, where's some other finest we could have got? You could have just pulled a freaking name out of a hat for a finest card, and it would have been a hell of a lot better than these do. Or we could have got Andrew Jones. For some reason, he is always the last legend to get a card. And then Kirby Puckett, a new legend that they marketed. I'm not going to get over that. They legit marketed this guy on their stream. He is a new legend in the game. And he has not gotten one single upgrade since I think he was a collection reward. Like an 88, 89 overall. The very first day the game dropped. So I don't know what the fuck deal is with that. But moving on, 27 wins. Can get some uniform rewinds from previous events. Cool shit, I guess. 30 wins, you can find a set one pack. I feel like this is not going to phase because I'd rather have any of these cards than the fucking event reward cards. Headliners pack three times at 35 wins, so six total right there. Set two at 40. And then if you keep going on, that's the thing I don't like they've done about like last two or three events is these used to be at the very beginning. So if I got like 15 wins, instead of getting a Fred McGriff that I do not want, I could have got a rewind pack that I have a chance to get Trey Turner who sells for a million stubs or any of these guys who are expensive as fuck. Instead, I got a set of Fred McGriff, but 45 wins can still get a rewind. And then at 60 wins, I can also get a rewind, but with only a week to play it, I think it's a week, right? When is January 4th? I believe that's one week from today. Yeah, it should be about a week from today. You only got a week to play and you got to win 60 damn games to get every single one. That's a fucking shit ton right there. Let's see if they came out with anything else. Do we got a new player program? No, we got Bagwell still in there. What do we have coming up on the calendar? It looks like we have 
The only thing they are showing is the 11th inning program, which is the forever program. So essentially you're going to be able to get a lot of the previous inning bosses, which is going to help for like collections, theme teams at this point of the game, whatever the fuck you want. And I'm assuming the big reward has to be Kirby Puckett. Has to. Otherwise, I don't know. He, he ain't coming out if that's the case. I've given up hope. But we also have, I don't know why it's not on the schedule anyways, unless they're doing something similar where their cards aren't renewing. You're just like, here, I'll hop into it. Ranked Seasons ends on the 3rd. That is going to be Monday. So Monday, we'll get brand new Ranked Seasons. Right now, we have the Mike Trout as a reward. So I don't know if they're going to come out with a brand new World Series reward or if they're going to keep the same rewards. The Mike Trout, the Oral Hershiser, I think it's Billy Wagner and Lou Gehrig, and then just reset like the standings and everything or if they'll actually add a new card i hope they add a new card in there give us some to do at this point in the freaking game but we got that coming out on monday and then we also got new br program coming out in what is it two weeks from today so next week is going to be ranked seasons the week after is going to be br and then we also do have on the fourth which is next tuesday or whatever we also do have the part two of this event so like i said overall very very underwhelming but hey man is what it is real quick video today hopefully you boys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give a thumbs up let me know what you think of the content below and we're going to be starting theme teams january 1st we're going to go through 30 theme teams in 30 days so be on the lookout for that and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out